In this video, we're going to install a brand new domain controller into an existing domain or forest. Now, it's always a good idea to have more than one domain controller in an environment since the domain controllers are so crucial to operations in your environment. Uh, if you only have one, the possibility of it going down and causing major havoc to your company is pretty big. So it's always suggested to have at least two domain controllers and then they automatically load balance and make sure that they're working properly. So let's go ahead and look at what our environment is. Uh, so right here we already have our first DC, DC1, and we are in a domain called test2016.local. Uh, we've, uh, we've created this domain on this domain controller and everything is up and running. Uh, additionally, there's the Ethernet address 192.168.100.10. If we then look at our second domain controller that we have, uh, we've gone ahead and we call it DC2. It is not yet a member of the domain. It does have an IP address and its DNS is actually pointed back to the very first domain controller. This comes in handy because of how we find resources in Active Directory. It is critical that we're able to reach those resources as we're joining them. Uh, so before I actually do anything, I want to confirm first off that that DNS is in fact working. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a command prompt. And I'm going to use NSLOOKUP in order to find the test2016.local domain. So what will happen is this computer, uh, my DC2, will query its DNS server for the test2016.local domain. If it returns back, then that means everything is communicating and resolving properly. There we go. We see we've gone ahead and we've queried against that machine right there, and we have gotten results back for our query. That means everything is working and we shouldn't have any problems with this joining to the domain. Okay, so in, in order to join this machine as a brand new domain controller, there's a couple of steps. First off, we have to add the features, add the Windows feature in order for it to become a domain controller. A couple of different ways that we can do that. I'm gonna come up here to manage and server manager. And I'm gonna say add roles and features. And the add roles and features window, I'm going to go ahead next, 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 and then specify the Active Directory domain services options. It will give me some dependent options as well as an option to include the management tools. I'm just going to say add for all of that. And then next, 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 and install. So we'll go ahead and install the prerequisite tools for us. And when it's done, then we can continue on with the domain controller setup. All right, and thanks to the power of editing, we were able to fast forward through that. Uh, and now we are at the end here. We see that the install completed, uh, but configuration is required. So we see here we have a button that says promote this server to a domain controller. If I go ahead and click that, that should start off the configuration wizard. Now we have a couple of different options here as far as how to deploy. Uh, we can configure a domain, oops, excuse me. Uh, configure domain controller into an existing domain, which is the option we're going to be doing. It means that there's already a domain controller there. There's already a domain, and we want to add a second one. We add a new domain to an existing forest. So there's an existing forest, but we want a different domain. Don't want that. Or add a new forest, which was what we did with our very first domain controller. So I want to come back up here. Add domain controller to existing domain. It then asks us for the domain we want to join, and that is going to be test2016.local in my case. Now on this machine, I am not currently logged into the domain. Uh, therefore, I don't currently have permissions to join this domain, which is what this next option here is for, is the supply credentials. This is currently no credentials provided. So I have to change that and specify credentials for the domain. Specifically, I want test2016 backslash administrator. 
and password. There we go. And now I have credentials to join that domain and join as a domain controller. So next, asks us what options do we want as far as DNS and global catalog and read-only domain controller. Still waiting. There we go. Because this is no longer the very first domain uh, in my environment, first domain controller in my environment, I can choose do I want DNS or not. I could choose do I want global catalog or not, and I can choose if I want a read-only DC or not. I'm going to leave it as the defaults for those because those are the standard configurations I would put in most environments. I can specify a site name. I'll go ahead and leave that as the default. And then for the DSRM password, again, keep that password safe. If possible, keep it standard across all of your domain controllers uh, so that if any domain controllers crash, you are able to recover them. DNS next. Uh, install from media or replicate from any domain controller. I'm going to go ahead and leave those as default. For the paths, I'm going to go ahead and leave those as defaults. For the review, again, I can view a script, which again is all PowerShell, uh, which calls the install ADDS domain controller command with all of these options. I'm just going to go ahead and say next. It will run its prerequisites, probably pop up a few warnings. There we go. So it gives me a few warnings, uh, cryptographic algorithms, uh, delegation for DNS. Those are just warnings we can go ahead and pass without those. And then install. At this point, it is configuring the domain controller. It is replicating all the information from the domain from other domain controllers onto this one, setting up DNS. It's setting everything up, and when it's done, it will reboot, and then we can log into the domain. All right, and now that the install is finished, we can go ahead and log in, and we'll see. Yes. It is test 2016 uh, administrator. And when we log in, server manager will tell us we are now in the domain. Domain test 2016, not local. And we are now the third, in this case, the third domain controller for that domain. 